Hello guys, you are welcome again to another wonderful video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create an investment broker website. Alright, like what you are seeing on the screen. I will be showing you how to do this particular website. Alright, everything you need to know about this website. Alright, so just stay with me while we do this together. Alright, I will be showing everything, the user side, the admin side, and how this particular website works. Alright, so for those of you who are interested, and mind you, this particular website is strictly for educational purpose. Right, for those of you that want to present it, that have a project to present and other things, so this is for you. I right, can go through it and understand every concept about this particular video. All right, just hold on while we do this together. Now, looking at this particular website, this is the home. This is the front page. Right, this is the front page. This is the home page. All right, so you can see all the content, all the write-up has already been put in place. All right, just a little editing, and which I'm going to show you how you can also edit that. All right, so if you move away from here, you can see the. You can see the about us all right this is the about us you can see how uh, how wonderful this particular template is you can see that all right this is the about us then moving away from there you have the plans all right this is the plan you can see that all right this is the plan loading all right so from there you have the the fact all right this is the plan you can see the various investment plan which you can also edit all right to suit your your need all right you can also edit that to suit your need now moving away from here you have the register side Right, if you come to the register, this is the register. Once you click on register here, right, if you click on register, you can have something like this. So, whereby you have to put in your name, username, email address, phone number, your password, and everything you need to register. Then you click on sign up. Right, click on sign up. Right, so now I will log into user site so that I can show you how it works. So, once your registration is successful, you'll be able to log in. So, I'll just log in now and show you how it works. So, let me just quickly log in. All right, so you can see this is the user side. So once your account is successful, you'll be able to have this user side. All right, you can see everything there. This is the plan. This is the investment history. You can add fund here. You can see your fund uh, history, transfer, transaction, right, the payout, referral and referral bonus, budgets and other things here. You can see that. All right, you can see the profile settings. All right, now moving away from there, you can see your statistics, account statistics. All right, total invest, payout, uh, total ticket and referral bonuses right now you can see your referral link here you can see your referral link now moving away from here you can also come to this side all right if you come to the account here you can see your you can see your account dashboard you can also put two factor authentication you can see that then you can log out this is for the user user side all right this is for the user side now let's go to the admin side so let me also show you how the admin also work before i will not show you how you can successfully install this configure it to your own uh, taste all right so let's also go there all right as you can see this is the this is the admin side all right you can see on this particular account now total refer total user five active users um join users and uh, right total user fund okay you can see that all right total in, uh, interest fund total plan total invest you can see all the statistics on the admin from the admin you can manage every other account all right you can see that there now you can see role permission okay you can see kyc and identity form all right you can see user ranking you can see schedule plan referral transaction investment commissions all right manage users all right you can see all this here you can see pending kyc you can send emails to your to your users you can see your payment method all right you can see this is autom automatic payment method you can also see the manual payment method you can see deposit request all right when the user make a deposit on this side right when the user make a deposit on this side on the admin side here you can see the you can see the request which the admin can approve all right which the admin can approve from the end you can see the payout method okay which i've said before all right Pay, uh, payout log then you can see all tickets you can see open ticket the ticket i'm talking about in case a user make a request maybe they're having any challenge from their side here they can open a ticket which you can you can see the support ticket once this support ticket is created admin can see it from the this side here which they can refer to you can see that it's like you are having a um an issue which you want the admin to attend to all right you can see that there then you can see subscriber list okay you can see email settings you can see sms settings you can see email settings which i'm going to be showing you how to configure all of this all right you can also see the team the team that means you can select any team of your choice Okay, you can see all of that here if i come to this uh, manage team now if i click on manage team let me all right you can see where it says send email to all users like i told you before all right all of this can be done from the admin end all right if i come here now you can see 
this is all users will receive this email. I'll put the subject of the email here and the body of the message and I will send. Once I do that, all the users will receive the email. All right, you can see all users here. You can see Pendy KYC. All right, Pendy KYC, that's um, know your customers, which can either be, um, which can either be driver's license or any of the uh, any of the ID card you want to collect from your from your clients, all right? Mm -hmm. From your clients, yes, from the user side. So that's for, so all of this can be done from this side. All right, you can see all of them. The payment gateways, you can see the payment method. All right, there are different payment methods here. If you click on that, you see the payment method. All right, you can see the various payment method blockchain. You can either approve it here. You can see that you can either make it active, you can make it active, or you can make it inactive. All right, depending on what you want. You can see there are many of them. All right, you can see various payment method. All right, Paystack is there. You can see that. You can see Stripe. Okay, you can see Scree. Right, there are so many of them various payment options so these and many more are on the admin side which you can once you have access to this template which i'm going to show you at the end of the day you can either check everything here and make sure you walk through them and understand the the configuration of this admin right i tell you there are many configuration which we are not going to be time will not permit us to explore but once you have access to this template you can do that and enjoy the template okay it has so many features Right, you can see that this is for manual payment gateway. You can see that the manual is there. All right, payment uh, payment payout method. All right, you can see so many of them. All right, so now that we have looked at the admin and also looked at the the user side, so I'm going to show you how you can use this and you can configure this. All right, and if you stay with me to the end, I'll also show you how you can get access to this template. All right, now now that we have done that, let's move over to the process of setting this particular template up. All right, first you need to have a C panel. And if you don't know how to get a reliable C panel, just contact the number on the description of this video, and you'll be shown how to get a reliable web hosting for your for your for your templates for your website. Because not all not all web hosting companies are reliable. All right, I tell you, once you contact the number, there you'll be given access to a particular reliable hosting company that we have been using without any result, uh, without any issues, or like without any issues. All right, that will be all right. Having said that, let's move over to our C panel. Right, so this is C panel. Right, get your C panel. So once you have your C panel, the next thing is for this particular template. Now I'll be using a subdomain. Right, I'll create a subdomain for this particular video tutorial. All right, but for you, you just need to get your domain name hosting and follow the process one after the other. The same thing I'm going to be doing. Also follow the process once you are doing your own. All right, so I'll go down and create my subdomain. Right, just come over to where I have domains here. All right, so just come to Right, come to domains. All right, I've created my subdomain. All right, so I'll just go back to my C panel now. So once I come over to this side, right, so I'll just come to file manager. Right, just come to file manager. Here is it. So I'll upload the file. Right, just come to my subdomain. Right, come to public underscore HTML. I'll see my subdomain there. This is it. Open it. Right, then I'll upload the file. Right, upload the file. So we just click on select. Right, go to my download. Right, so I'll just open the file then. All right, so just follow the process, okay? Follow the process and we'll do this. So once the file is done uploading, you can continue from there. While the file is uploading, let me just go ahead and create my create my sub my database. Open my database as fast as possible. So just come here, come to my database wizard. All right, so this is it. All right, so I'll just create my database. Just call it. Okay, so I'll do that. Then I'll click on next. All right, so put the user. All right, so just do that. So. Okay, so just right, go ahead with that. So once you are done with, once you are done creating your database, right, so done with that. So let me check if the file is done uploading. All right, the file is still uploading, that's 64. So database is set, so we'll just hold on a little to wait for this to complete. All right, as you can see, the file is 100% complete. So just click on go back. All right, so this is the file here. So just right click on it and extract. Right click on extract files. Very easy. All right, so once you are done extracting, 
all right so we are done extracting just click on close you click on this to reload all right so this is the file here i just delete this all right okay let me just hold on then i'll open this this is the file here i'll just select all then i'll click on move all right i'll move it to my all right okay this is it here to my subdomain i created i'll just move it there all right so just click on this to go back all right good now once you open your file you will see the installation guide all right there's an installation guide to put you through on how to use this particular template all right this particular files all right so i'll just open this first so just click on edit so know where and where to edit all right so i'll just do that all right as you can see this is the installation guide now, first of all, there's a disclaimer here. Like I told you before, this script is for educational purpose only. All right, we are not responsible for any other illegal use. All right, so that is for that. Now, moving away from there, you can see the, the process of, of installation. The first one is upload the script, which I have done before. Now, you can see it says create a new database and import database from SQL folder. All right, I will show you that. Then the next is go to account folder and edit um, .env. All right, and set the database and also edit db.php, which we are going to be doing now. All right, so this is our, this is our, our file. Now, first of all, you can see the SQL file here. This is our database file. All right, this is it. Okay, then let's go back. All right, if the SQL file is there. Now, this is the account folder. If you open the account folder, right, this is the account folder. So once you open this file, in case you are not seeing this .env file, Right. Sometimes if you open it, you might not see this .env. All you need to do is to come to settings and enable this show hidden files. Just enable it once you, if I only, if I, sometimes it might come like this. Just come here and tick it and click on save. All right. So once you do that, you will not see .env file. All right. This is what we want to edit. This is the installation guide here. Yeah? It says edit .env file. This is the .env. I will just right click on it and edit. All right. So we we'll edit it and set our database. All right, so this is it. So remember, I created my own. This is my database here. I'll copy it. All right, copy it. Then come over to this part. So this is it. I will edit it. Okay, this is it here. I'll paste it. Then also set it here. Good. Then come back here again. You can see the user. So copy this. Then I'll come here. All right, good. I'll paste that. Now you have if you scroll down, you see the you will see the mailer, the SMTP. You also edit that too. Right? I will edit mine. Okay. I will edit mine. Then I will come here, just edit this. Right. So you can see that very easy to do. Okay. Then if you don't have a if you don't have a webmail, you can go to your account. Right. Let me open it. Go to your account and create a webmail. Right, create a webmail. This is your account here. You can come over to this place and create a create a webmail. Right, come over to this part and create. You just click on create here. I've already created. You can see mine. So I'll just so if you don't have, just click on this part and create. So once you create your webmail, then the webmail is this. Then the password of the webmail is what you are seeing here. So put your own there. All right, just set all of this. Then I'll click on replace also. You can see this is my own. I've set that. So once you are done. Come over to this part. Then you can also put your your URL here. All right. In my own case, it is called Capital. All right. This is it. I'll just copy that. Then I'll come over to this part here. Just remove this and paste. So you can see that. Then just save changes. All right. Good. That is done. The next one we are going to be editing is db.php. You can see that db.php. All right. I'll come back here. Just a step a step backward. Right, so once you okay, good. So you can see the db.php, right click on it and edit. Right, so also set the, the database. So just come over to this part. All right, so this is my database again. I'll copy. All right, so come here and set it. All right, good. So I'll also paste it here. All right, good. I'll paste that. Then next, the last one there is the is the user all right make sure what you are doing is correct so that because if it, if you are not careful it will not work 
right? So you just be careful of your user, your information you are pasting here. So once you are done, save changes. All right, so we have successfully connected our um, database to our file. So the next thing is come back here, click on all privileges and next step. All right, good. So if you are done with that, good. I'll come back here now and go to PHP my admin. All right, go to PHP my admin. This is the PHP my admin. All right, remember before you do that, make sure you download your SQL file. This is your SQL. You open this folder, you will see it here. This is the SQL file. Right, this is the SQL file. So just right click and download. Right, it's download to your system. So I'll come back here and come to. All right, so let me. So I'll come here. This is it here. Open it. Then I'll click on import. All right. Click on import. Then click on select file. Click on select file. All right. This is my database. All right. I'll click on open. All right. This is it. Then I'll come down here and click on import. So you just have to give it time to import. Right. Because the files are large. So just wait a little while the file is, while the database import so once it's done we'll look at the front end we'll look at the configuration all right so let's just wait for this to import all right the file is done the uploading all right the sql file so sometimes it could be due to network error all right so just reload it so i'll just reload the page now all right as you can see so we'll go to this part this is the admin just click on it so we can get the admin um, information so you can see that so just right click on it right so the password is encrypted right the password is encrypted so you can just see this is the email this is the password here so you can just check the password is encrypted so you put it there once you set a password just come over to this place and select and select encrypt you can see that select encrypt then just go down and click on right then click on go all right so that's for that then you have your your users I right, can see your users here. So now that we are done connecting our, our SQL file, so let's open the site to see how it looks like. All right, as you can see, this the site is opening. I right, can see that. So if all the configuration that we have just done is successful, you should have something like this. All right, so then the installation guide will be there to guide you through. All right now, to assess the admin, if you come to the if you come to the installation guide, you can see this is the demo user login. All right then this is the demo admin login to get your admin put your site url forward slash admin account slash admin then put in the user and the password this is the demo which you can set from this part here all right you can see that so once you come here click on edit you can put in your admin email and admin password make sure it's encrypted all right so you set that in so once you're able to have all this information done so you should be able to have it like this so this is the admin login then this is the user login all right, so why you have your SMTP and the rest of them. So once you're able to assess it, you can have something like this. Then you now log into the admin. This is the admin. Okay, you can see this is the admin, like I was showing before. This is the admin login. You have all the information you need from this particular script. All right, so now that you have gotten to this point, if you need access to this template that we have used for this video, all you need to do is to pay a fee of $55 or you pay some of 65,000 error, you'll be having access to this particular script. So once you are able to do that, just click on the link around this video, in the description of this video, or you contact the number shown in the description of this video to get your script delivered to you. All right. Thank you guys for staying to the end of this video. If you have any challenge, drop in the comment section or reach out to us. We'll be glad to help you fix it. Thank you and see you in our next video.